All right, how's everyone doing tonight? Happy to be at Friday night, I'm sure, as we always are, right? Uh, so we've got a lot of fun tonight. We've got one new release product, and we're going to kick off the night with that. That's our Leaf Flash Baseball. Then we'll open some plates and patches football. That came out Wednesday night, so it's pretty new, too. And then we're going to do our first break of... Um, Revolution, the Chinese New Year edition. Well, our first break for 2018-19. We broke it last year, of course, but, but that doesn't count, right? We're only worried about this year. So, of course, before we actually start tearing into our boxes and our packs, there's a little pre-break information that I go over each time. So let's go ahead and get that up and running. Whoops, that's not it. I put you on the wrong screen, didn't I? Uh-oh, I don't know what I did there. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, that's all my bad. I hit the wrong button twice, didn't I? Yeah, I know, right? It's like a Monday on a Friday or something. Okay, so um, feedback. It is completely automated. I do that so that you don't ever have to wait on me. So anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you're going to instantly get positive feedback in return. And of course, the second thing there is just a note to say thank you. I do appreciate Everyone who bids and breaks and chats and hangs out with me, keeps me company and all that kind of stuff. And did I already switch us to our other view? I've lost my track of what I'm doing tonight. But this is what we were looking at, I hope. Now we should be looking at this. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm out of sync, aren't I? Too much Red Bull again, I think. All right. So this is a look at what we're going to be breaking in the days ahead. This particular stuff, it's already up and listed on eBay. Uh, and... Uh, you know, just if you want to know what's coming up. So tomorrow night, Leaf Autograph football jersey, another case of Leaf Flash baseball. And then we're going to open a half case of Prism Retail. It's a 20 box case, so a half case is going to be 10 boxes of that. And it is the start of a new case for those of you who care about that sort of thing. On Sunday, it'll be a Gold Rush Premier Players Baseball. That's a full case. It's uh, buyback hits, and they are supposed to be of some of the, you know, high-end top Whatever you want to call them, superstars, more desirable players, uh, hence the name Premier Players. We will open also on Sunday night another 20-box master case of Panini One Football. Monday night, we're going to open Onyx Preferred Players Autograph Baseball 3-box case, a third case of Leaf Flash, and a third case of Plates and Patches Football. Tuesday night will be a Leaf uh, Autograph Multisport jersey, and then we're going to open Top Series 1 Jumbo again. Once again, it'll be a full case. And once again, base cards will have their own bidding position. Okay, so base cards don't ship to the teams in that. They get uh, autographs, relics, numbered cards, and whatever Tops defines as an insert. Everything else considered base. On Wednesday, we have two new releases. We'll open them both by the full case on Wednesday night. That is the high-end Impeccable Basketball and everybody's favorite Select uh, that says basketball. It's not basketball. It's select football. I don't know why I said it's select uh, basketball because I was uh, made a mistake, didn't I? I need to fix that. Let's fix that. Yeah, well, now I've got a typo. Good grief. I told you guys too much Red Bull. <laughs> you didn't believe me, but it's true. All right, so let's try that again. It's going to be 2018 select football and 2018-19 impeccable basketball for Wednesday the 20th. Now, what you need to know about what we're opening tonight. Everything tonight is a paid shipping break. That's uh, Flash, Plates and Patches, and Revolution. There is no mail service on Monday, guys and gals. It is President's Day, so no mail picked up, no mail delivered. Means that if I don't get it out tomorrow, which I've got another break going out ahead of yours, so I think we're looking at Tuesday getting this stuff out the door. And, of course, as always, if you are in one of these uh, paid shipping breaks and your team does not pull a single card of any sort, then you will still get consolation cards. They will ship out with the rest of the break since it is a paid shipping break, okay? So I think, you know, and Tuesday I think is pretty realistic there. If, if something unusual happened, it could slide to Wednesday, but I think it will probably be Tuesday. And please keep in mind, I may print some of your shipping labels uh, Saturday night. It could be Sunday. It could be Monday. Even so, it's not going to be picked up until Tuesday since there's no mail on Monday. 
All right, first up, a 12-box case of 2018 Leaf Flash Baseball. It is a full case break, break number one. Everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay, Friday night, the 15th of February. You've got team names on the left-hand side, and guess what? Your name is up in lights across from your team on the right-hand side if you are the lucky winning bidder in here tonight. And, of course, a new spreadsheet will go up before the start of each break. So if you're here for one of the other breaks, other than uh, than this one that we're getting ready to do here with Leaf Flash, I'm just adjusting that angle slightly, um, then you're going to get a chance to see your name up there shortly. Finally, I am going to do a little hocus pocus here with the focus. <laughs> I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but it did, and then it was really cheesy, but it's too late. It was already out. Um, <laughs> So what I meant to say is, yeah, I messed with the focus. I did it on purpose. I know part of it looks like it's out of focus now, but please don't worry. We're going to be able to see all of our cards up nice and close. Now, here's what else we need to talk about with Leaf Flash Baseball while I'm getting all this out of the case. I imagine most of you, many of you, maybe all of you have opened these Leaf Baseball products before. So as such, you know that they don't have the team name or team logo on it. And that's the same way with all the Panini releases. That's because Topps is the only one who can print that official team name or team logo. So in the case of this, where we don't have that information available, the players are going to go to their current teams. Now, I will define a current team by looking at... Uh, MILB.com, which is the website for minor league baseball, and or MLB.com, which is the site for major league baseball, and of course recently traded players, uh, as long as they show up in the, in the transaction history on MLB.com or MILB.com, that's where they're going to go. And, you know, most of these, because this is my, this just came out today, so this is my first pass with it too. So some of these I'm going to know the teams, some of these uh, I may not remember the teams, um, and we can look them up if you want. Normally I look them up after the break, but if anybody's got a question about one that I don't know, we can certainly check it out live. You just jump into chat and let me know. And what else, what else? Uh, I do double check them all before I send them out. So even if I tell you tonight, like say for instance, you know, I think uh, this player is XYZ team, I will double check it before it goes out the door to you. And if I find that uh, they have been traded or it's not the correct team for some reason or another, of course it's going to be sent to the correct team. So I think that's all the info we need now. Let me take a look over here and see if I can get caught up on chat. So Bryce is here and Kent and um, uh, Kenji's here. I'm going to call that Kenji. Is that how we pronounce that? I could be pronouncing that totally wrong. And if I am, I'm really sorry. I'm terrible at pronouncing names <laughs> and usernames. So if I butchered your name, please forgive me. And Latch is here. Kent is looking for some Casey Mize for the Detroit Tigers. And Brody and Greg. Hi, Greg. Greg, you've got a Carson Wentz up for sale on eBay, do you now? All right. And Brody, happy Friday. Back to you. And Latch, I am doing great, man. And I had a good day here today. Very productive. Got a lot of stuff shipped out the door and on the way to you guys and gals. So I always count that as a good day anyway. And um, let's see. What else? I'm scrolling down through here. And Ron, Ron says uh, he is hoping to get a good return for his investment. He says he spent $200 on this break, so he's hoping to see uh, a lot come out of it then. So, all right, well, we will hope for the best in that sense. Now, the other thing you need to know, of course, here about our dear friends at LEAF is that uh, these things come right out of the box, uh, ready to go. As you see, they're in top loaders, they're in sleeves, and, um, you know, as, as such, they're, did I not cut that one? As such, they're generally uh, in pretty good shape inside those sleeves and top loaders, so that's another little bonus point there for LEAF. All right, so 
Thomas, you said that Tampa has a boatload of talent and included in these products. Oh, for sure. For sure it did. Um, Kent, did I probably, I don't know, did you get a shipping notice today? Anything that you saw a shipping notice for is in the hands of the post office. So I think it did, but I wouldn't absolutely swear to it because I did get a lot of stuff out today. But uh, uh, tracking number on eBay is definitely, if you got one, then for sure. <laughs> and Ron, this is your first time. Well, welcome, Ron. It's good to see you. All right. So first up here is Ethan Hankins. And uh, once again, guys, please remember it's going to current team. And I'm going to call out uh, on some of these who I think that current team is. Now, in the event that maybe somebody's been recently traded and I'm not remembering correctly, please be feel free to call out and tell me. Uh, and of course, again, I will verify it, MILB or MLB.com before it ships. I believe Ethan Hankins is an Indian. You just took a look at Xavier Edwards, who the last I know was a Padre. And there is one Josh Stowers. He is to 15. And a few of these I have written down. He was traded recently. He's a Yankee, I do believe, these days. Matthew Libatore. Matthew is numbered to 50. I like that kid. I think he's going to be pretty good. He is a Tampa Bay Ray. And we have ourselves a little one-of-one one printing plate out of here tonight. Yeah, we do. And who is that? Ryan Rollison. Ryan should be a Colorado Rocky here comes Joey Bart. We know where he goes. San Francisco Giants. He is also numbered to 50. Next up, we are taking a look at Connor Scott. And Connor is numbered to 10. So very nice low number hit there. I believe Miami Marlins. Mike Ciani is my Cincinnati Reds. Numbered to 50. And Lion Richardson. Is Lion a Kansas City Royal? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm not 100% sure about that. No, <laughs> he's a red. Why can I never remember that that kid is a Cincinnati Red? I don't know. I have a terrible time remembering him. And he's like on from my own team. I can't remember him. <laughs> I don't know why. Griffin Roberts, St. Louis Cardinals. Jonathan India. Okay, that's for sure. My Cincinnati Reds. That's, uh, yeah, that's my Reds. Mr. Ronald Acuna, we know where he goes as well. How about that coming out for the Braves? Uh, get things rolling. Ryan Rollison making another appearance for the Rockies, numbered to 50. A redemption for Joe Adele. That's going to be the Angels. Next up is Jackson Coar. Now, Jackson here is a Kansas City Royal. I'm pretty sure I tried to, I tried to assign one of the <laughs> one of the reds to the royals a minute ago uh but jackson there i'm pretty sure is actually a royal next up we have um william Contreras. should be i think the braves unless he was traded or anything recently i believe he's the braves there's a nice one for the white Sox. nick madrigal coming out on the flash photography insert and Fernando Tatis Jr., nice hit for the Padres. That is number to 10. San Diego, look at you go. I like that hit for the Padres. I imagine you do too if you have San Diego, right? I think so. <laughs> I think you will. Leaf Baseball is always so good. Their checklist is always just awesome in baseball they do well in football too but some years they seem like they have gaps in football like where where maybe they'll miss one or two players that you kind of like think wow you really kind of wanted those one or two players but they don't miss many in uh in baseball steel walker steel is numbered 250 and steel walker is the one that's the white socks right yeah because there's Steel Walker and there's Ryder Green. And I love both of those names for baseball. I think they're both just awesome names. <laughs> if you have the St. Louis Cardinals, I bet that's exactly who you're looking for, isn't it? It's Nolan Gorman. Yes, nice. Daniel Lynch is out. Daniel, I do believe, is a Kansas City Royal. Caden Grinier 
Grinier is to 10. He's Baltimore Orioles. Next up is Ryan Weathers. And Ryan Weathers, I believe, is a Padre on our redemption. There's another Fernando Tatis Jr. Tag on, Padres. Y'all are cleaning up over there, Padres. <laughs> yeah. I like that plan. This is Valera. And he is numbered to 25. We found him a little bit in uh, Ultimate Draft. or and he, This is on like a metal draft card. I don't really know why it's in here, but it is. It's not on a flash card, but we've seen a couple of those. Um, anyway, he's, uh, he's an Indian. Next up is Cole Roterer. Cole is a cubby. There's another one on Metal Draft. It's Jackson Coar. So there's another one. That one's numbered to 15. Another one headed to Kansas City. Shane McClanahan to 15. That's not too shabby either, really. So Mr. Shane McClanahan, of course, headed to the Tampa Bay Rays. Louis Robert is out for the White Sox, numbered to 15. There's your man, Casey Mize. I know you were looking for him. Mm-hmm. How about that? Numbered to 50 for Casey Mize and the Tigers. Andrew Kenzer. Andrew, I always forget Andrew. Oh, uh, Andrew. Cardinals, maybe, possibly, I think, maybe. <laughs> Next up is Will Banfield, and Will is a Marlin, unless he was traded. Shane Bieber. And Shane is one I wrote down because I can't remember him ever. He's an Indian, I do believe. Oh, nice. Nice. Julio Pablo Martinez to 50. Yeah. Now, I don't think we've seen him in any of the other Leaf products yet, have we? I don't think we have. Now, maybe we have and I don't remember it, but I don't remember seeing him before. Phillies, look at you go here. You got Alec out on a brilliance insert, and it is numbered to 50. That's actually just a cool looking card, too. So, um, yeah, very nice. Shohei Otani makes an appearance for the Angels. Uh huh, uh huh, numbered to 50. Um, Bryce. It could be, um, it, that could be it, Bryce, why they put some of them in there is that they just, you know, but usually if they don't have their autographs ready, they put in a redemption, you know, and it would have just come out as a redemption. Uh, so I don't really quite exactly 100% know why it's in there that way, but I mean, maybe, who knows? They do some interesting things sometimes at LEAF. This is number to 15. It's Michael Grove, uh, Dodgers. Tristan Casas out to 50 for the Red Sox. Next up is Urias, and that is numbered to 50. Then we have Lucan Baker. Uh, sorry, I'm not saying who those were, was I? Lucan Baker is the Cardinals. I got myself sidetracked. I'm sorry, Urias is the Padres, Baker is the Cardinals, and I think I I kind of went off mentally in my head there for a minute. Sorry, took a little vacation. That was Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles on the uh, flash photography insert. Wander Franco is live, very nice, to 25. He has previously been uh, primarily redemptions in here, so Tampa Bay Rays to hit Wander Franco live, very nice hit. Very, very nice hit. Bryce, you have uh, the Rockies in here, you said. I just now saw that. So you've had a couple of, of hits out of here then, too. Yeah, well, but you know what? We pulled Valera out of, um, out of um, Ultimate Draft or whatever we most recently opened. Wasn't it Ultimate Draft that we opened last month? But we actually pulled Valera out of there. So that's why I'm confused about why some of these guys are in here on that other card set. It's who knows, though, really, truly what Leaf is doing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Kenji, you, you're definitely in good shape. You said you didn't want to get shut out on the Angels. With Otani and Adele, you can definitely take a breath. That does put you in some uh, pretty good company there, I think, so far. 
Oh, I am super jealous of this. I love this kid. And this is his first autograph I've seen in anything. This is uh, Sean Jelly. He actually played um, here locally. And he's a, a giant, San Francisco Giants. He's a pitcher. And I think he's going to be good in the long run. We'll see. Jared Kalinick, Flash Photography Mariners. Another Joe Adele redemption. So your angel's in even better shape than they were a minute ago. Mr. Brady Singer to 25 is out for the Kansas City Royals. And finally, we have ourselves a pride card. This one, well, I say finally, we wouldn't normally find them in here. <laughs> they're confusing me because they're putting in so many different card sets in this one product. I'm finding myself being confused. <laughs> this is numbered to 20. And I don't really know where this goes with Junior Sever Severino. I don't remember that. So, yes, indeed. I will have to look that up. I can't remember it. Jordan Groshans to 15. Jordan is a Blue Jay, I do believe. Next up is Griffin. And Griffin here is a Blue Jay. So, Blue Jays went from none to a couple right there in a row. Taylor Weedner, Taylor, 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 Diamondbacks. Anthony Siegler, that is numbered to 50. And Anthony Siegler, of course, is a New York Yankee, unless he got traded. There were some trades that happened around there. So unless Siegler got traded, um, he's a Yankee. Okay, so. Uh, and here's Severino again. <laughs> he's coming back to haunt me. I can't remember where he goes. He's going to sit up there. I'll look him up before we sign off of this break. Here comes Ryan Weathers again on another redemption. And another Nolan Gorman. Very nice. To 50. So loading up on the Nolan Gormans. Mr. DJ Peters to 50. And DJ there is a Dodger. Here's Logan Gilbert. Mariners, unless he got traded. Travis Swaggerty. I like that kid too. Flash Photography Pirates. Bo Bichette. Very nice hit on Brilliance Insert. That is, again, for the Blue Jays. Jordan Adams, flash photography inset number to 50. That is the Angels. Juan Soto, baby. Little Juan Soto flash photography redemption for the Nationals. Parker Meadows to 25. And our dear friend Parker Meadows here is the Detroit Tigers. And Bobby Dahlbeck to 50 is a Red Sox. Next up, there's Ryder Green. See, we had Steel Walker earlier. Now we get Ryder Green. I just love both those names. That is uh, for the Yankees. Jeremiah Jackson. And, oh boy, I don't remember Jeremiah Jackson. I wonder if I wrote him down. Sometimes I write down the ones I can't remember because I know I'll have to look them up. An angel. Angels for Jeremiah. There's another Sean Jelly. Very nice. I know that, and it's, uh, you know, it's numbered to seven. I know the Giants, you're probably more interested in Joey Bart right now, but I think you're going to be interested in that kid once you get to know him. Another Beau Bichette, that one numbered to 15 for the Blue Jays. We are coming into Last Box Mojo, putting the, putting the mojo in it. Let's see what we get out of it. And first up is Nick Schnell out of the, well, I say first up, first up out of the last box. That, of course, is the Tampa Bay Rays. There's a second Joey Bart. So the Giants are doing pretty well tonight. Simeon Woods Richardson to 50 for the Mets. And Josh Bro to 10 for the Yankees. Jordan Groshans is out again. That one is numbered to 25. Oh, look at that. It was not only Last Box Mojo, the last card out of the last box. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. You know if you had the Blue Jays, you were like, I've got these other hits, but where's my baby Vlad? Mm, there he is. Vlad Guerrero Jr. So all in all, I think a pretty solid case here. Uh, first go at at Flash Baseball. 
Now, uh, some of you have typed in there that uh, this is the twins. That does somewhat ring a bell, but you know me. I also am going to just go look it up real quick here because I'm a total, you know, whatever you want to call it, nerd, whatever. I like to look it up. I like to make sure that I know what's what before I go wandering off. Not that I don't trust you because I absolutely do trust you. I know you guys are on it and I appreciate the input, but... Since it's not my money I'm playing with here, it's your all's money, I do always just go do my due diligence. And so that is now officially pulled up at MILB.com on my tablet. And of course, you guys are 100% correct that it's the Minnesota Twins. So let's recap our Flash Baseball. And uh, since, he's, since he happens to be sitting there, right there he is for the Twins. A pair of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There they are. Now, I'm not going to flip all these over on the recap to look at the numbering and everything because we already did that. And if we did it again, it'd be just like doing the break twice. But what I am going to do is just go through them here uh, so that you can take another look or maybe somebody jumped in partway through and you didn't uh, get to see everything. This is your chance to do that. And once again, I will double check all the teams that I called out tonight to make sure there weren't any trades that I'm forgetting about that uh, took place that would change up any of the teams that I announced for anyone. But I think for the most part, we're, we're covered with uh, the couple that we already knew had been traded. So we're going to do more Flash Baseball uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night. And then we're going to do more next week, probably a couple, two or three different days next week. I've got a pretty good amount of flash. So I always like the Leaf Baseball. We generally will have five or six, uh, sometimes seven or eight cases of Leaf Baseball on any given product. So you can uh, expect to see this coming through again. And typically we have pretty good luck pulling... Pulling the big names out of it. I mean, I think we had an Otani in every case that we opened of Ultimate Draft. And I think we had an Acuna in every case we opened of Ultimate Draft, the best I remember. We did pretty well. Now oh, there's our one of one again on the printing plate. As a whole, we did pretty well with Ultimate Draft. I think we're going to do just as well, maybe better, with Lee Flash. Okay, guys and gals, we are moving on down the road to Plates and Patches football, which was um, pretty flipping awesome when we opened it on Wednesday night. Because you know what? We pulled a Tom Brady autograph to six. Yeah, we did, among other things. It was a great case. Looking forward to another one here in a minute. So once again, if you did not see this before, uh, no mail service on Monday. Anticipating everything we're opening tonight will be shipped out on Tuesday. Could possibly go to Wednesday if something unexpected happens, but expect it to be Tuesday. Labels may be printed over the weekend. Could be anywhere from Saturday, you know, afternoon, because the counter closes early, on up through Monday night. But none of it would go out until Tuesday. Okay, so that's the deal. And once again, if your team is not pulled... You are still going to get consolation cards in the mail, give you another shot at uh, maybe having a little better luck. So if your team doesn't pull a single card, you will still get something. 12 box case of 2018 plates and patches football, full case break. This is break number two. Of course, this just came out on Wednesday. Um, we're going to happily get into another case of it here right now. It's one of my favorite products. I super, super love um plates and patches from all years. I've always had a little bit of a weakness for it. I like that there's not loads of cards in it. You know, there's like a good number of cards. There's a lot of it is hits. Everything is numbered. And there's always just cool stuff in it. And it seems like it's easier sometimes to pull the bigger names out of plates and patches. Like, like your Aaron Rodgers and Ben Roethlisberger's and Tom Brady's and guys that we don't see as often or are harder to pull in other sets. It seems to me they come out easier in plates and patches. But you know, every year we pull some good stuff, like Tom Brady kind of stuff, um, out of P&P, &P, so... 
So I think it's a fine little product here. Okay, so um, Greg, you said never repeat the previous case. What do you mean? I don't know exactly what you mean. That you don't want to know what came out of the last case? Is that what you mean? Or you don't want to know that we broke it before? I'm not, I'm not sure which thing you're telling me there, Greg. Brad, you're looking for some Tennessee Titans. Very nice. We'll try to find you some Tennessee Titans. And Kent, that's right. That was your Tom Brady for sure. Headed your way. And James, there are sticker uh, autographs in here. But honestly, these days, there's sticker autographs and dang near everything. So I kind of, I've kind of had to, had to get over my, uh, my thing about having sticker autographs versus hard signed autos because anymore you're probably the hard signed autograph is the exception rather than the rule these days you know so i have to kind of i guess it's it's the evolution of it the more products they produce and the more stuff they do the more signatures they have to collect the more we end up uh, seeing things come out on stickers uh, and stuff so so Kent, you're looking for Jackson, Allen, and Darnold. And Quest, you said Steelers and Jags work in the mojo. Let's do it. Yeah, Greg, I don't know. I mean, I see what you're saying for sure. I don't really totally agree with it, though, because I've said that before about, uh, in fact, I often say, you know, kind of here's some things we pulled out of some others and still going on to have really nice breaks out of the... Uh, Panini one and plenty of other products. So I do feel what you're saying. I don't know that I totally, I mean, I hear what you're saying. I don't totally feel that way myself, but I will try to remember not to do that since it bothers you. And Ricky, you are looking for the Colts. Michael is looking to find Baker Mayfield. You know, we've had really good luck in general pulling Baker Mayfield a lot. We've actually pulled Baker a lot all year. Uh, he seems to be the one that comes out the most out of the rookie quarterbacks, which is kind of interesting considering that he was also the number one pick. You usually would find him less, you know, because his autographs would be more expensive for Panini to include. But anyway... All right, so as you saw, we have got one pack per box, and uh, everything in here, as I mentioned, is going to be numbered, including our base. That is numbered to 99. It is for the Giants with Janoris Jenkins. Calais Campbell comes out, numbered to 50, and that is for the Jags. Coming for the Buffalo Bills, we have some Josh Allen relic and it's supreme swatches it's numbered to 99 and a super bowl autograph right away i love getting the super bowl autographs this one is for the raiders and it's ray guy i kind of dig getting the kickers you know because you don't get them like all that much all that often really i don't know a Jameis Winston printing plate, one of one out of Luminance. It's for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, it's got a little bit of a bend to it. I would imagine that everyone knows those printing plates really are used in the making and printing of the cards. So they quite frequently have scratches and they're slightly bent sometimes. Sometimes they have writing and numbers stamped on them and uh, they got all kinds of things going on. It's just part of their charm since they were used in the making of that is James White to 99 for the Patriots. Devontae Adams numbered to 20 for the Green Bay Packers. Our relic is going to be Naheem Hines for the Colts. And that's a nice looking relic, actually. It's a really nice looking relic, and it's numbered to 50. Um, that's pretty sweet for the Colts. A rewards point means one of our hits has been replaced by this. We'll give it out using random.org at the end of the break. Probably also means that we'll have one kind of big hit in here, I would imagine. Usually if you get a points card, uh, we end up getting a pretty good hit along the way. 
Ryan Kerrigan for the Redskins, our printing plate out of 2018 Panini football. Hey, hey, hey to you, Bobby B. How are you, Bobby? What's shaking in your corner of the world, Bobby? Greg, you watched three cases of this today, and you said you're seeing, oh, it's all the same cards? Wow, yeah, I don't know. That That's uh, unusual. That's number to 99, Hunter Henry for the Chargers. I mean, for sure, there's always going to be some duplication, but I'm surprised that it's like all the same stuff. Minka Fitzpatrick for the Dolphins. That is numbered to 50. Maybe the checklist is not as diverse as I thought it was this year. I don't know. There's Marcus Mariota for the Tennessee Titans. Those are also nice looking relics. That is numbered to, I think it says 65, 85. I'm not seeing well, am I? To 85. The Patriots, James White. He is definitely a playmaker for you, especially at Super Bowl time. That is numbered to 49. Our one of one printing plate is Joshua Jackson out of score football. And with Josh Jackson, there's a there's I always get the guy that plays for the Packers mixed up with the guy that plays for the Chargers. But whichever one he is, because that was obviously out of score, it had the Iowa Hawkeyes, his collegiate team name on there. Obviously it goes to his current NFL team. And I always say the wrong team for, for that guy. Well, it's always the opposite of the one I think it is. All right. We have Roquan Smith, Chicago Bears, numbered to 99. And there's Geronimo Allison. Now, that's not one you're going to see very often. It is numbered to 20 for the Green Bay Packers. Laquan Treadwell with a patch trio. For the Minnesota Vikings, it is numbered to 75. A redemption. It's going to set right up there in housekeeping. I know, I know. I'm so mean. It sets their face down. We'll flip it over at the end of the break, along with any other redemptions that we might find along the way. DeMarco Murray for the Titans out of Immaculate Football is uh, our printing plate. Yeah, Brad, I know. You guys know my feeling on those points cards. I'm not a fan of them either. I certainly uh, I feel your pain on that one. I don't love them either. That is number 1099. It's LaShawn McCoy and the Buffalo Bills. Then we have Derek Henry, number 20 for the Tennessee Titans. Bobby B., you said match that James White with a Tom Brady. <laughs> Man, if we pull Tom Brady out of back-to-back -back cases, that would be some, something else, wouldn't it? I mean, we might, though. You never know. Stranger things have happened. This is McCaffrey and DJ Moore for the Panthers. It is uh, numbered to 45. A couple of nice patches on either side. This is our autographed printing plate. And indeed, it is a nice hit. It is Matt Stafford for the Lions. It's out of 17 plates and patches, and that is a hard-signed uh, autograph. One of one, Matt Stafford for the Lions. Yeah, see what I mean about pulling autographs that are harder to pull in other card sets? That's an example. Joe Williams for the 49ers out of 2017 Immaculate, our one of one printing plate. Bobby, you think the redemption's going to be Tom Brady? <laughs> well, I mean, he's definitely live in here. He might have redemptions too, but I know for sure he's live in here because we did pull him live out of here uh, real recently. For the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, that is Peyton Barber to 99. Khalil Mack to 50 for the Chicago Bears. You said the Stafford was clean. I mean, for the most part, you've definitely got scratches on it for sure. And it's got a big line down it. I mean, on the back, you've definitely got scratches and some lines and some things from being used in the printing process. But from the front, uh, you know, it looks good and the auto looks good. But for sure, it's got the typical wear that you expect to see on a printing plate in terms of the surface marks. 
Pat Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, number 250. Nice tricolor relics, both top and bottom. The Colts with Doris Fountain. Doris is numbered at 299, two color relic and autograph. And our printing plate is uh, Darquez Denard for the Bengals out of Immaculate. All right, what do we got next? So far, so good. It's Theo Riddick. Theo is numbered to 99 for the Lions. Next up to 20 is uh, Nelson Aguilar for the Philadelphia Eagles. The Saints with Alvin Kamara. That's a nice big patch. Full coverage, I think, is what that uh, patch has on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Where's the number on that? Was it on the back? I didn't see it. Oh, it was. Duh. Sorry. It's the 85. I'm used to them being numbered on the front. We have another points card, so is it possible that we're going to have another hit? Maybe. 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 San Francisco 49ers. There is one Joe Williams out of 2017 Rookies and Stars football. Oh, Latch, that's your first Patrick Mahomes card? Well, nice, man. You know I love that kid. So, um, I think, yeah, he's a, he's a good one to start collecting early for sure. Number to 10 for the Texans, that was Will Fuller. Is this Joe Flacco numbered to 50? No, it's not. It's Willie Sneed. I've just got Joe Flacco on the brain. Can you all even believe that that's what Elway did? I mean, does that not just blow your mind? I have been saying for over a year now that the problem with the Broncos is John Elway. I know that they love the guy. I know he's like a hero for how he used to play there, but he's been a terrible general manager for them. Let's just face it, because he can't get a quarterback to save his life, and he makes dumb decisions. Corey Davis, numbered to 65. I mean, why would you bring in Joe Flacco, for goodness sakes? I mean, what in the world is he doing? Still setting on Case Keenum. I mean, he just has quarterback issues. To be a quarterback, he's not very good at picking out a new one. Isaac Bruce, that is numbered to 25 for the Rams. A one-of-one one printing plate, which I am holding upside down. James Winston for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers out of NT. Out of 2017 National Treasures. That'll just fetch you a little bit of money. Hi, Jesse. How are you doing tonight, Jesse? Numbered to 99, it is uh, Marcus Davenport for the Saints. Yeah, I'm with you, James. It makes no sense why John Elway would do that. And especially, like, this far out from the draft. You don't even, you haven't even had time to evaluate the quarterbacks in the draft. See who else might be cut loose. I mean, just why would you do that? To 50, that's Kenny Galladay for the Lions. It's just a really dumb decision. Even if it was only a fourth round pick, still a dumb decision, I think. It says Galladay and Carry On Johnson to 20, Detroit Lions. Oh, look at that, the Ravens with a little Willis McGee. Huh, numbered to 99. There's one you don't pull very often either, by the by. A printing plate for Mr. Drew Brees, a one-of-one one yellow plate out of 2017 Illusions football. That's for the Saints, of course. Poly, polyrhythmic, how are you feeling? I know you said you had the flu. Are you feeling better tonight? I hope so. I hope that you are feeling better. And I would agree with you that I think the Bills have a lot of potential, but they definitely have to keep Josh Allen upright. So, yeah, they need a little, a little low line upgrade. I'm going to agree with you on that. This is Vernon for the Giants, numbered to 99. Next up, numbered to 50, Evan Ingram for the Giants. Then we have Amari Cooper, still a Raider. On this card, numbered to 85 with a nice big full coverage relic. 
I saw the Cardinal. I thought it was going to be Rosen. It's not Rosen. It's Christian Kirk. But you're probably still going to like it because it's got a patch and an autograph. Number to 99, Arizona Cardinals. Our one of one printing plate is Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills out of 18 luminance. It's a nice little, uh, nice little collection there for the, for the Bills. If you could get all the printing plates for him. Oh, be nice. Some people do set about to do that, you know, to get all four of the printing plates or whatever. Carson for the Seahawks. Chris Carson. Next up, it is Peyton Barber again. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 250. Well, I am glad that you are feeling better. You know, yeah, the flu is nasty. And they are, I mean, by all accounts, it is just absolutely rampant this year, which... You know, I mean, and a lot of people seem to be getting it, even if they've had the vaccine. Michael Thomas and Traquan Smith to 85. Although I think it's maybe a little less severe if you catch it after having the vaccine. But good grief, you'd like to think the vaccine would work well enough to keep you from getting it. Number to 50, Ronald Jones II. Relic and autograph. One of one printing plate, Cooper Cup. Rams out of 17 contenders. All right, here we are on Last Box Mojo time with our last pack. We do still have housekeeping stuff to do up there, our rewards points, a redemption to flip over as well. Uh, and then after we look at this, we'll do our housekeeping chores, and then we will recap. So that's kind of the order things are going to go in here. To 99, that is for the Broncos. The little Emmanuel Sanders. This is numbered to 30. Robbie Anderson and the Jets. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Mike Evans. And that is to 20. That's a nice patch up at the top in particular. The Dolphins coming in right here at the last with Mike Gesicki. And that is numbered to 99, Relic and autograph and ty hilton for the colts our last printing plate out of 2017 immaculate football now we're going to flip over this redemption here in a second when we do we're probably going to know what team that it goes for or two but we're still going to go to the panini checklist and put it up on the screen so that everyone can see it and we're all on the same happy page about it so we'll find out what it's going to be numbered to then as well. After that, we'll give away our rewards points. And it is Saquon Barkley. I told you there was going to be another big hit in here when we got that other points card. Matt Stafford was one of them. Your man Saquon Barkley is the other. Rookie Patch Autographs Blue coming out for the New York Giants. Who, meanwhile, the whole time had probably been just like, fingers crossed, please let that be Saquon, please let that be Saquon. Yeah, I feel you on that. Nice hit, Giants. Nice hit. So let's get the Panini website up and uh, running here. Let me get us. Let me get myself on the right page, and then I'm going to bring you along with me as soon as I can get myself logged in, which I thought I was, but apparently I'm not. My computer did updates tonight. That always takes away all my bookmarks. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Ooh, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. I did sneeze into my elbow, okay? So I promise you, not on my hands. You don't have to worry about me touching the cards. And by the way, it's also allergies. I'm not, I'm not actually sick. I'm just allergic to everything in the entire world. All right. So here we are at the Panini website. Let's bring up the plates and patches checklist here. I can scroll down here and find it. What did I say the card set was again? Rookie Patch Autographs Blue is what we're looking for. Rookie Patch Autographs Blue. And there is Saquon, card number 230 as we expected. And it is number two... 50, the big 5-0. So Giants, not too shabby, huh? Saquon to 50, you'll take that all day long, I imagine. 
So we'll finish labeling that up now. We have points cards to award. Here's what's going to happen. I'll bring you along with me. I'm going to go to the checklist, or to the checklist, to the spreadsheet. And from the spreadsheet, I'm going to copy all of the team names. And then we're going to go to random.org where I'm going to paste all of those team names in there. And what did that tell me? Can I open the clipboard? Why? Why can't you open the clipboard? Windows, what's your stupid problem? Hmm. All right, well, hopefully that fixed it. So then we're going to paste all of this over here into random.org. Anytime I have nine or fewer items in a list, we do random three times. When I have ten or more, as is the case here, we're going to do random one single time. I'm scrolling through so that you can see all of our teams were actually copied and pasted in here. And here's how it's going to work. The team that ends up in the number one position after I randomize is going to get the 400 points card. The team that is in the number two position after I randomize will get the 250 points card. All right, so good luck, everybody. So here we go. It is the Colts with the 400 points and the Redskins with 250. So Colts and Redskins taking home our points cards tonight. So let me get that labeled up here. And then we're ready to recap. Oh, James, I've definitely got more Panini one. Uh, we're doing it again, what, Sunday night, I think? And then uh, we'll do some more next week as well. So I don't have a lot left. I don't know, two or three cases left or something. But we definitely uh, have some more. So, All right, we'll recap our printing plates first. So you got Winston for the Bucks, Kerrigan, Redskins, Josh Jackson, which I cannot ever remember. As I said, I think he's either a Charger or a Packer. It's obviously got his college name on there. It goes to his current team. I'll look it up. DeMarco Murray, Titans, Joe Williams, 49ers, Darquez Denard for the Bengals, Joe Williams, 49ers, Jameis Winston, another one for the Buccaneers, Drew Brees and the Saints, Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills, Cooper Cup for the Rams, T.Y. Hilton for the Colts. So those are our printing plates. Our housekeeping. 400 points went to the Colts. 250 points went to the Redskins. Our redemption is for Saquon Barkley and the Giants. It's going to be numbered to 50. Nice hit for you, New York. Now everything else. We've got Mike Gesicki and the Dolphins. This is uh, out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, followed by, oh, look at that, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Dual relics for the Saints. Christian Kirk for the Arizona Cardinals. Amari Cooper was still a Raider, a core on that card. Willis McGee for the Ravens. Dual relics for the Lions. The Rams with Isaac Bruce. And then you have the Titans with Corey Davis. Another Saints relic, that one Kamara. Doris Fountain for the Colts. Pat Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs. Here's this nice Matt Stafford for the Lions. Hard signed autograph um, on a plate out of 2017 plates and patches. I know it's hard to make out uh, with the lighting and the angles, but it definitely does have what the typical, like it's got a line on it, it's got scratches on it. I mean, it's been used in the process to print the thing. So it's not perfect, but it's still a one of one Matt Stafford autograph that I think is a nice hit. Carolina Panthers dual relic. Then we have Laquan Treadwell trio of relics for the Vikings. James White came out for the Patriots, Marcus Mariota and the Titans, Naheem Hines for the Colts, there's Ray Guy out uh, for the Raiders, and a Josh Allen relic for the Buffalo Bills. Okay, so that is plates and patches, which is going to next bring us into some Revolution Basketball, the Chinese New Year edition. And I'm going to get a few more sleeves out on the table, grab myself a quick little drink of water here, and grab our case. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to give you something different to look at. You know what it is, though. I know. I know. It's, I'm so predictable.
So yeah, you probably saw that a minute ago. And for anyone who didn't see it a minute ago, now is your perfect opportunity to review all that shipping information and let me know if you have questions about it. So we are doing 16 boxes, which in this case happens to be, uh, in this instance rather, happens to be two cases. Because Revolution Basketball Chinese New Year Edition comes in an eight box case. And there is no such thing as a master case for this. It's just eight box cases. So there you go. <laughs> so we're going to do two of them tonight. And of course, this also ended tonight on eBay the 15th. Much like our regular Revolution, there is no autograph guarantee in it. Uh, now, in regular Revolution this year, you know, we would find like three or four in every, in every eight box case. I have no idea how this is going to go. If we're going to find some or none or what, I don't know. And none, none of my distributors could tell me either. All they could tell me is, you know, it's not guaranteed. Well, we know that. <laughs> but, but they are possibilities, that much I do know. And of course, I think the main thing that we would be looking for in here, outside of the autographs, uh, would be the what they call the Chinese New Year Parallels. So there's a hollow gold that I think is numbered to 8. There's an emerald that I believe is numbered to 88. And then there's a regular... Um, Chinese New Year parallel that is just what they just call the red parallel, which is basically the unnumbered regular pattern for Chinese New Year. Does that make sense? So I think we've got a hollow gold to eight, an emerald to 88, regular one that won't be numbered, and maybe we'll find autographs, maybe we will not. I do not know. But if it is anything like last year, the Chinese New Year parallels themselves, even when not signed, actually did really well um, on the secondary market for a lot of you guys. So I would, um, that's, that's what I would say we're primarily looking for. And if we find some autographs, so much the better. And I don't remember if it is, my, if it's per pack, if we're going to find, we're finding, I think, a parallel per pack pack I think is the deal in this one it's it's a lot different configuration than what the typical you know US version is that we've already opened this is um, for some reason they only make some of these available to the US after they've been released somewhere internationally like that new what's well, new to us prism choice that I told you guys about the other night and I did buy some of that. It's here. Um, and it's pretty much prism, but without base cards, <laughs> more or less. You know, it's it's an autograph and a certain number of silver parallels per pack. And then they have special parallels in there. The zebra and the blue-green and something else that you can only get in that choice prism. And it's really frightfully expensive. So I did not buy it as a full case. But I have some loose boxes of it, and we'll put it together. I'm going to make a prism mixer that'll have first off the line and prism choice and some retail mixed in there. Probably some fast break. will be a bunch of stuff. And then we may do some just, you know, with one or two box breaks by itself as well. So, hi, James Scheisler, and hi, Brian. How are you guys tonight? You're looking for some Lakers, and you're looking for Bradley Beal. And uh, Kent is looking for the Warriors and DeAndre Ayton. All right, so I think I think we've got our mojo wish list out there. Now let's see what we can find. So this pattern right there, I think, is the pattern. Yes, I was like, I think that is our Chinese New Year pattern. Thank goodness I was right. And uh, it is the emerald, and it is numbered 288. So, of course, again, this is my first time looking at it, too. So I was just working on it based on the selling information, you know, the sales sheet. So that was Clay Thompson for the Warriors in our first New Year pattern. And then here's DeAndre Ayton on the base New Year pattern. So that's kind of your wish list right there, Kent. <laughs> like Our first two New Year parallels come out as uh, year two mojo wish list there. 
So that's what our New Year pattern is. Again, the red or unnumbered, the emerald to 88, the hollow gold R to straight up 8. So that's a red Jaron Jackson Jr., unnumbered, but the Chinese New Year. And we do seem to be rolling along at about the one per pack rate. So Markel, Markel Fultz for the Sixers. So I think in that spirit, we'll wait and I'll sleeve the vast majority of these after the fact. There's Murray for the Spurs, again with the base uh, red on it. And Troy Brown Jr. for the Wizards. And I do like that they label the pattern this year as New Year on the back because last year when we opened this, they didn't have a label on the back that told us which one was the Chinese New Year. I just remember like having to guess the first case or so of it. Anthony Davis for NOLA. Kind of handy that they give it to us this time. There's Jimmy Butler for the Timberwolves. And Tyreek Evans for the Pacers. Followed by Draymond Green and the Warriors. And there's Dwight Howard for the Wizards. The Clippers with Shea Gilgis Alexander. So, of course, anytime we get one of our good rookies in, in any of the Chinese New Year patterns, whether it's numbered or otherwise, uh, it's going to have a pretty good little value to it. Because, again, not a parallel that you find in the, in the traditional USA Revolution version. So... Just like when we do finally get into that choice prism, you know, I think if we when we find that zebra pattern or what are some of those others that are ah, exclusive to that product, you know, you pull one of those for Luca or something. Why is that not? Like, why can I not get the plastic off? It's usually worth a little bit of uh, a little bit of money, you know. Anytime it's a look, it's different from the norm. That's a good thing. But what I am interested to see is whether or not we pull autographs out of the 8-box case. And if we do, like how many? And Because that's kind of the unknown quantity about this whole thing. All I know is it's possible. But I like Revolution. I've always liked Revolution, so... That's why we opened Chinese New Year last year, too. I mean, really, other than the exclusive pattern, it's very similar to our traditional American version. Mo Bamba is out there for the magic. So again, some of our some of our rookies I'll go ahead and sleeve as we find them, and mostly our veterans I'll wait and sleeve after the fact. Vucevic for the Magic. There's uh, Demar Derozan for the Spurs. Marvin Bagley's out with a little New Year for the Kings. Followed by Anthony Simons, Trailblazers. I would like to see some more numbered ones. I'd like to find some of the gold ones to eight. Danny Green for the Raptors. Dwight Howard for the Wizards. Followed by Jimmy Butler, T-Wolves. And there's Isaac Bonga for the Lakers. Um, I don't expect them to do Prism Mosaic, uh, James. They only did that the one year where they had uh, that disastrous replay product that they just did not do a good job on. 
Dante DiVincenzo, that's the New Year Emerald to 88. And they made the reason that there is Prism Mosaic was it went to people who bought cases of replay and pre order. And of course, you know, there was a great kind of outcry about what they had done with with replay and just what you got in the box relative to the price. It was not a good return at all. And a lot of people were complaining about it. So to make up for it, that's Jalen Brown and the Celtics. To make up for it, Panini produced that uh, prism mosaic. Anthony Davis for the Pelicans. And for every case of replay that you had pre-ordered, you got a case of prism mosaic. Uh, whenever they produced it several months later is kind of like a little, you know, whoops, you paid probably a lot more than you should have for that product kind of thing. Uh, and that's the only way you could get it is if you had pre-ordered it. Now, of course, a lot of distributors had pre-ordered a bunch of that product that they then hadn't sold through. So that left them with lots of unclaimed cases of Mosaic because, of course, you know, they got it all from Panini because they had pre-ordered it. But then people had not pre-ordered it from them. So then they, instead of pairing it with replay, they just sold the Prism Mosaic by itself to help recover the losses they took on the other. Does that make sense? So that's why, um, that's why there is Prism Mosaic at all. Yeah, Replay, I mean, had some nice individual hits in it, but certainly it had a lot of things in it, too, that weren't that great and a lot of repetition in it, and it was nowhere near worth what they charged per case. And then, of course, it made everybody kind of scared of Honors because Honors came out that same year, and for the first time, Honors, of course, was kind of the football version of Replay. But then Honors came out and was fantastic. It was great in 16. Then they didn't. They did not sell Honors in 17, but they are bringing it back in 18. But there's no way they could bring Replay back. I mean, if they brought it back, they'd have to call it something else because, <laughs> and they would have to like do a good job on it, like they do with Honors. So I don't really know what happened with that product, but it was weird. Jay Gilgis Alexander uh, for the Clippers with a little New Year uh, red or base base New Year pattern, if you will. There's Justin Jackson for the Magic, same as the red base New Year. And next up is James Harden, Rockets. Mark Gasol for the Grizzlies. Uh, Jabari Parker and the Bulls. Colin Sexton, Cavaliers. Oh, Kent, I mean, it's been, been more the same. I mean, there's a Chinese New Year in every pack, of course. So uh, we've only found, I think, a couple of them that have been numbered so far. Most of them have been the base red so far. For the Hawks, that's Prince. And then we have Enos Cantor for the Knicks. Dennis Smith Jr., Mavericks. But, of course, in this product, that is what we're looking for anyway, is the Chinese New Year, of course. Blake Griffin for the Pistons. Preferably for our rookies. They're going to bring us the most money in resale land. And there is... Little brother, little uh, Greek freak's brother, Costas Antetokounmpo for the Mavericks. And there's Vincent Edwards. Vincent should be to 88, and he is down there for the Rockets. He's the green, or the emerald, rather, parallel. Now, I know I cut the plastic on that. There we go. Like, what is my deal tonight? I can't seem to actually get the plastic off of any of this, which is kind of stupid when you think about it. Because, I mean, how many boxes do I take plastic off of every night? So many. <laughs> I, can't, I can't 
seem to operate. I have user error getting the plastic off the box. <laughs> I know, I know, crazy. So we'll break some more Chinese uh, New Year Revolution next week as well. Uh, we'll probably do the exact same format, two cases at once again. Depending on how long this takes to open, I mean, I could even bump us maybe to three cases. I don't know. It doesn't take a terribly long time, I don't think, to get through it. So we might even jump it up to a, to a three case break next time. I don't know. We'll figure it out sometime between now and the time I get it listed anyway. Meanwhile, of course, we'll have impeccable basketball out uh, on Wednesday. And, of course, we're going to break Prism Retail tomorrow night and some other basketball in between. So we'll have plenty to keep us busy until impeccable comes out. Oh, sorry. Hit the tripod. Sorry, sorry. My, my bad on that, guys. Ran right into it. But at least it didn't go flying. A lot of times it does. Dion Waiters in the heat. Yeah, those are like Mr. Toad's wild ride when I hit it and it goes flying. <laughs> Anthony Davis for the Pelicans. This should be to 88, and it is for the Emerald version. What happens usually is I hit as I get caught up in the cord, and then the whole thing just whoosh. Lonnie Walker for the Spurs. That is Russell Westbrook and the Thunder. Followed by uh, Joe Inglis and the Jazz. Musa for the Nets. Come on, Musa. Don't give us grief. He's trying to argue with me, not going to sleep. What was that about, Musa? And there's Aaron Gordon for the Magic. Javon Carter and the Grizzlies. If we can get him in there. Followed by Embiid and the 76ers. De'Aaron Fox and the Kings. Miles Turner for the Pacers. Grayson Allen, Utah Jazz. Yeah, I'm kind of anxious to get into that Panini's Choice, or Prism Choice, I should say. Prism Choice. It is still Panini, but Prism Choice is what I meant to say. Because I kind of like the idea of a Prism that's all hits and no base or there may be a couple of base cards in there but it's not more than that it's just one pack per box and it's got the autograph and a guaranteed number of silver prisms i think and then um like a guaranteed number of parallels too we don't know which one it's going to be like the the zebra or the or the blue green or the whatever but even so i you can imagine the appeal to me <laughs> Means less means all the hits with a whole lot less sorting, right? I know. <laughs> I like that better. But they can't really do that with I would, I, you know, from a breaker's standpoint, it'd be like, oh yeah, great if they did that for every product. But realistically, it wouldn't be because there's a lot of set builders, and they would be super bummed if they didn't have sets and things like that so gotta make something for everyone I think we'll probably try to do mixers next weekend next Saturday and Sunday I think I may pencil us in for some mixers both of those days some basketball some football some baseball see what we can put together on some of that I don't know why I thought that was something, but I guess it's not. Uh, but Bruce Brown is for the Pistons.
and Andrew Wiggins, T Wolves. There's uh, Giannis, the Greek freak, for the Bucks. Jalen Brown and the Celtics. I wonder if it's really hard for his brother, you know, with Giannis being so good and his brother just kind of coming into the league. I wonder if that's a lot of pressure for him. Colin Sexton for the Cavaliers. Kyle Korver, Cavaliers. It's a, just a base Aiton. Lonnie Walker for the Spurs. Yeah, my guess is it probably is a lot of pressure for him. There's another Grayson Allen. It is hard to, it would be hard to live up to Giannis. I mean, the guy is a beast. And there is uh, Tony Parker as a Hornet. I'm never going to get used to saying Tony Parker for the Hornets. It just doesn't feel right. And that is Paul Millsap for the Nuggets. Followed by Danny Green and the Raptors. Kyle Kuzma for the Lakers. And that's that box. Ah. <laughs> what is the deal tonight with plastic on these? It's like industrial strength plastic or something. I can't. It does not want to give up the cards that are inside. I'm like, wait, what? No, stop. <laughs> oh, I hit something on the computer. On the, oh, I hit the mouse, basically. It changed the view of what I was looking at, so I had to kind of fix it back. It was going to mess me up if I couldn't see what was going on. So I saw where Dell Demps got fired today. That's only, what, about mm, six years too late? <laughs> I shouldn't say that. That's not nice. But honestly, he's, I mean, is anybody really going to say he's done a good job other than drafting Anthony Davis in 2012? I mean, not, not really, I don't think. So they uh, dumped him uh, unexpectedly, I think, sort of, but expected but not expected. Does that make sense? Okobo for the Suns. Jeremy Lin for the Hawks. Draymond Green for the Warriors. And apparently the Anthony Davis injury uh, last night wasn't too terribly bad. Laurie Markinen for the Bulls. You know what? Hang on a second. This is, I, I think, numbered. Uh, I just noticed it was green when I set it down. I'm thinking I did not flip that over to see the numbering. Yeah, greens are, are to 88 when we see the emeralds. And I just set it down and then realized it after I had set it down. So better late than never, right? Reggie Jackson Pistons and Shake Milton for the 76ers. Do not see a lot of Shake Milton now, do we? Not really. And um, Ricky Rubio for the Jazz. D'Angelo Russell and the Nets. And Mikhail Bridges, Phoenix Suns. They were, I think, um, a little angry, though, over there at NOLA. <laughs> the owners were, I think, pretty incensed that uh, apparently Anthony Davis, after he got injured last, not last night, completely left the arena, Kyle Korver and the Cavs. So I think they were pretty hot about that, Kyle Kuzma and the Lakers. And somehow or another, in a sort of, like, last straw sort of scenario, I think that's maybe ultimately what got Dale Demps fired. 
not really that because there's a whole lot of stuff, but I mean the whole handling of the Anthony Davis situation period, the whole handling of the trade request, as well as the, um, you know, the injury and him leaving the arena last night, etc. And then, whoops, Dimps is fired today. A pack left in that last box right here in this one. I don't see any. That's why we always look in them. Um, but hang on, I can show you. I'll show you. Here's the one before it. And I don't see. I'm looking at all of them down here. On oh, you are right. Look at that one. That one there on the ground. Good call, my friend. Nicely done. See, that is why I show them to you guys because sometimes. There is something stuck in there that either I see when I show it to you or you guys see when I show it to you and we grab it. That happens about once every six or nine months probably, but that's exactly why we look at the inside of everything for that purpose. So thank you, John, for catching that. I don't know how I didn't see it. I guess I showed it to you, and apparently I didn't look down at it at the time I showed it to you. At any rate, thank you for catching it. And that is indeed why we look at them always. Kent, you said you need a big hit to pay for the night. Tell me who your teams are in here again. You hit the you hit the eight in parallel already, but of course I know you want a numbered one, but you do have the eight in uh, Chinese New Year parallel out of there but we haven't seen an eight and emerald or uh gold we haven't seen any of the gold hollow yet jerome robinson clippers and this is draymond green again for the warriors followed by tyreek evans and the pacers and there's Giannis again for the Greek Freak, or for the Bucks, the Greek Freak for the Bucks. Hey, Andrew Wiggins and the T-Wolves. You have the Suns, the Rockets, and the Warriors. Okay, well, we've had, uh, well, we had a couple of Suns. We have Mikhail Bridges out as well, I think. Zaire Smith for the 76ers. And I don't remember, we may have pulled, we, we've definitely pulled some parallels, some Chinese New Year for the Warriors. I don't remember about the Rockets for sure. Jabari Parker and the Bulls to 88, the Emerald Parallel. Robert Williams Celtics. But just for kicks, Kent, tell us what uh, what does the DeAndre Ayton Chinese New Year version go for, like unnumbered versus to eight versus to eighty-eight? Do you know? That's Tony Parker for the Hornets. I do not know. I legit don't know, which is why I'm wondering if you do. <laughs> That's a Lillard for the Blazers. I mean, I remember just from last year that the. Chinese New Year Parallel sold well for the rookies. Paul Millsap and the Nuggets. There's Metu for the Spurs. But truly, I don't think we had... Last year, the Chinese New Year Parallel wasn't numbered the way it is this year, the best I recall. Ho, oh, ho, there you go, Mavericks. There you go. There's Luca. He is uh, in the red base Chinese New Year parallel. Hopefully we're going to find him in the emerald or the hollow gold before we're done too. But nonetheless, uh, that's a part of what you were looking for for sure. Oh, you don't know either, Kent? Yeah, me neither. I haven't looked it up this year. I, I always mean to look up the prices on completed sales of stuff and then I get busy doing other things and I somehow don't get it done. It seems like I'm always either listing, sorting, shipping, or, you know, answering emails or something. It seems like every time I want to do it, I don't have time and then I don't get around to it. So I do need to look that up though because I'm kind of curious to know myself.
So, of course, we've got another eight box case after this. This one's a two case break. So, it looks like as you see this, oh, we're coming up on the end. We're not. We got a whole other eight boxes to go. An entirely other case. So, clearly, our autograph parallels are going to be harder to come by in this version. That much is apparent. But I don't think, I don't even know last year, I don't think we even had autograph parallels in it last year. Lou Williams Clippers, that I remember anyway. Paul George and the Thunder. There's another Luca. It's just a base, but still nice to nice to have. Dirk Nowitzki Mavericks. Followed by LaMarcus Aldridge and the Spurs. Kyrie Thompson Pistons. A little Detroit Pistons action. Markel Fultz, 76ers. Be interested to see what happens with him down there now that he's at the Magic. It's Eric Gordon in the Rockets. Murray for the Spurs. Uh, there's Bates Diop or Diop for the T-Wolves. I think it kind of gives him like a little bit of a fresh start. I think it's probably good that they got him... Um, out of there, out of Philly, you know, get down there, get healed up, start over in Orlando and see if he can't get himself on track. Jacob Evans for the Golden State Warriors. And Dylan Brooks for the Grizzlies. Wendell Carter Jr. for the Bulls. Okay, that's eight box case number one. Here comes number two. Let's get this bad boy unpacked. And we're going to do it all over again with eight more boxes. I wonder why they don't put as many... I guess because they put in more parallels in here is why they don't put in as many autographs as they do in the in the regular U.S. version. I don't know. I'm trying to get the rest of these boxes out of here without making a big old mess. They're kind of wedged in there. Okay, now I think I can get them. Come on out of there, the last two of you. All right. Now then. Onward and upward. So it looks like the Lakers are not going to make the playoffs. So this will be the first time in how many years that LeBron, has it ever, <laughs> has there ever been a time when LeBron didn't make the playoffs, I'm sure, in the early Cavaliers years, but it's been a really long time since LeBron James has not made it into the playoffs, and I don't think he's going to get there with the Lakers. It certainly doesn't look like it, does it? So yeah, you know they'll be tearing that down and rebuilding that in the off season. Of course, that's what they tried to do anyway with the Pelicans. Which I'm still amazed. I mean, everything that they offered, God, man, it was their entire young core. It was like their, it was five young players on rookie contracts some of which would have probably fit down there and some of which would have been trade candidates and a couple of first round picks. It's like, I thought it was a pretty good return, but now everybody else said it was garbage. So it shows you why I'm not a GM. It was Kyle Lowry for the Raptors. This is DeAnthony Melton and the Suns. 
But of course, then when New Orleans started doing crazy stuff, Clint Capella Rockets and asking for like four first round draft picks and all that, you knew it was done. LeBron James Lakers. You know, they start asking for like ridiculous stuff. And that is a Gortat Clippers. Mitchell Robinson for the Knicks. Trey Young, there we go, for the Atlanta Hawks. So you can kind of start to get a feel for why the rookie versions of these go for money. Dennis Schroeder and the Thunder, because they're not coming out super, super frequently. Drogic and the Heat. Chris Stapps for the Knicks. And there is Okoji for Okoji. Whichever way you say it, T Wolves. I've heard his name pronounced like a zillion times. I can't ever remember it. I have a real hard time remembering it. For the Mavericks, that is DeAndre Jordan. seem like there's that many cards in each box, but I guess there kind of is. I mean, what, 60? So, yeah, it somehow seems like there should be less than that in there. I'm paranoid now. I double check that. <laughs> I can make sure there's nothing that I left stuck in there. a Saturday to me. It doesn't really seem like Friday night. It seems like Saturday night. But of course, on actual Saturday night, my Kentucky Wildcats are going to be playing the number one ranked Tennessee Volunteers in basketball. I don't know what's going to happen. It's almost like we have two different teams. One team can show up and play with anybody, and the other team just kind of like lolly laws around and loses big leads and then loses games and just looks sloppy and bored. So I don't know which team will show up tomorrow night. So we might win or we might get our butts completely handed to us. Like the other night with Louisville and Duke. I mean, Louisville had Duke down by what? 22, 23 points or something at halftime and came back and lost that game by a basket. The same way we lost our game to LSU by a basket down the road. It was a bad, a bad night for basketball in Kentucky on Tuesday night. This is Trey Young for the Hawks. That's the second one out of this case after finding none in the first case. Two out of this one. Kyrie here should be numbered to 88. He's not. Why is he not? I must have looked at it wrong. Let's flip him back over. Oh, because I saw the green for the Celtics colors, but no, there's our red background to tell us. It is, in fact, the red unnumbered version. It fooled me for a minute, though. Otto Porter and the Wizards. There's Metu again for the Spurs. And uh, Devin Booker. Nice. Devin Booker for the Suns. Bradley Beal and the Wizards. You wanted Bradley Beal. I know you wanted an autograph for Bradley. We didn't find an autograph yet of anybody yet, but uh, you did at least get a Chinese New Year parallel for him so far. Kevin Durant and the Warriors. Tarian Prince and the Hawks. Robert Williams for the Celtics. Well, now, Robert Williams, you can cooperate with me. DeAnthony Melton for the Suns. And 
And there is Evan Fournier for the Magic. Is that the last one? No, one more. Jokic for the Nuggets. We talked about him a little bit the other night. His uh, rookie card values are definitely on the uptick. I mean, he just gets a little bit better every year. And his rookie autos are hard to find. There's not many of them. Like maybe four, four or five sets that he signed in as a rookie, and that was it. Because, I mean, he was a late-round pick. He was overseas. They didn't even... They stashed him overseas for a year. He didn't even play the year. He was, you know, the first year that they could have brought him over. And they just held his rights and stashed him. Ah, you like that we got your Bradley Beal in the parallel. Good, 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 Brian. I'm glad that makes you happy. Your Wizards have been playing um, well. You know, I mean, with John Wall out, well, really, I guess at this point, he's going to be out for a whole year. I mean, he was out already with the foot surgery and then ruptured the Achilles in that, like, freak fall at his house. So, you kind of had to wonder, like, what was going to happen there. But honestly, I mean, they've been playing pretty well, I think bad part though is just swallowing that giant contract when he's not even going to be on the court for a year but hey demarcus cousins boogie cousins has come back from a ruptured achilles and looks looks like he's going to be pretty much i mean i maybe not quite 100 percent good as new but i'd say 95% good as news how it looks so far anyway. So I would imagine that John Wall can do likewise. They used to say that was kind of a career-ending injury, but it doesn't seem to be the case these days. Jacob Evans for the Warriors. Clay Thompson Warriors. I can want to stop on that. That's not the right pattern. Lonzo Ball and the Lakers. Mo Wagner, Lakers. Jarrett Allen for the Nets. There's John Wall for the Wizards, speaking of. So now you've got uh, the Beal in the, in the parallel and the John Wall to go along with. Of course, we already found some, some of your rookie and, and others in there too, but... Dante DiVincenzo Bucks. Wendell Carter Jr. for the Bulls. I'm just making sure we get the rookie when sleeved as we go. The veterans will do after the fact. There's Andre Drummond in the Pistons. There's John Collins in the Hawks. Uh, he's not a rookie as he was last year. See, sometimes they stick around in my head. You know, you get so used to seeing them and saying it. Zach Levine, Bulls. And Amari Spellman. Now that should be green. Emerald to 88. And it is for the Hawks. Alright, I guess I did not manage to even... Make an attempt at the plastic on that one, did I? Apparently not. Um, yes, Sean, this is um, this is the first, well, this is our third break of the evening. We've already broken our other two products, but they were baseball and football. This is our two-case uh, Revolution Chinese New Year edition, yes. So we opened regular revolution earlier in the season but this is our first break of the chinese new year edition revolution yes did that make sense <laughs> hopefully it did you're like wait wait that's too much information <laughs> so yes if you are looking for break number one the two case break of chinese new year edition this is it So we're actually on the second case because it was uh, two eight-box cases. There is no such thing as a master case in 
in the Chinese New Year version anyway. They're all just eight box cases. So, so this is our second eight box case that we're halfway, we'll be halfway through the second eight box case after we look at what's coming out of the wrappers right now. And then we'll, um, you know, we, I should have separated out and I didn't think about it. I should have separated out the numbered ones. Uh, and I did not do that. That was kind of dumb. I sort of semi-separated out the rookies and then didn't even think about... Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Well, live and learn, right? This is my... This is first time we've done Chinese New Year since last year. It takes me a minute to get my feet wet again. Troy Brown Jr. for the Wizards. So when we recap, we'll probably just look at all of them again then. Kyle Lowry and the Raptors. LeBron for the Lakers. Grayson Allen and the Jazz. Followed by Buddy Heald and the Kings. Bruce Brown, Pistons. And Sean, since you're just, just jumping in, um, I am sleeving... The rookies as we go along, but the veterans I am not at the moment. Brandon Ingram. That's just in the interest of keeping things moving. That is uh, Dennis Schroeder for the Thunder. And DeAndre Jordan, Mavericks. Lonnie Walker for the Spurs. And you may already know this, Sean, but there are uh, three different versions in here. There's the base New Year parallel, which is just the, the red unnumbered. So obviously I don't flip those over because they're unnumbered. Uh, there's also a green version. There's Miritich for the Pelicans. And the emerald green version is numbered to 88. Trevor Ariza and the Suns. And then there's a hollow gold version. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that is numbered to eight. We have not found any hollow gold yet, nor have we found any autographs yet. But of course, the the Chinese New Year parallels are one per pack. So lots of those, not a lot of them numbered. So the numbered definitely definitely more scarce than the unnumbered. Which is, I mean typically the case, but but at any rate, any of the rookies that you pull out here and select veterans as well will have a, a decent resale in the parallel, whether it's numbered or unnumbered, or it should. Of course, after we look at everything, if I had been a smarter person when I did this, I would have sat the rookies in one pile and the numbered stuff in one pile and the veterans in one pile, and then we could have just chosen what we wanted to recap, but I didn't, so we'll recap all of them. <laughs> and there's a pretty good sized stack of our parallels, but we'll just take a quick glance through them all um, at the end to recap. That was Hammy, Hamadou Diallo and the Thunder, Paul Gasol for the Spurs, uh, uh, Kawhi Leonard and the Raptors, Devontae Graham, Hornets, Chris Middleton for the Bucks, Brandon Ingram, Lakers. Aaron Holiday for the Pacers. Buddy Heald, Kings. Miritich for the Pelicans. Landry for the 76ers. 
So how crazy do you think it's going to be for Zion Williamson next year? I mean, he looks, it's Trevor Reza and the Suns. He looks to be far and away the head of the class in terms of the draft that will take place after this season. Like, I don't even see anybody close to him. He just looks tremendous, doesn't he? I mean, have you guys watched him? Any of you watched him play? Crazy good. DeAnthony Melton and the Suns. That's in the Emerald New Year to 88. All right, we have completed 13 boxes. We have three left to go. Team down and three to go. So I guess uh, my Kentucky Wildcats are my former Kentucky Wildcats players. We've got a lot of people in, involved in some of the all-star activities this week. So I'll we'll have to try to get a look at some of those. I always like watching the dunk contest. That's some of my favorites. I saw some video too today, and I don't know. I guess this, who knows where who who it was, other than it was Luca. Somebody standing there, I guess, offered Luca. I don't know how much money, but offered him some money if he hit a shot from where he was standing, which was like probably right at mid court, right at half court. <laughs> And Luca turns around and just fires it in on the first try. I mean, just right dead in it. <laughs> and he made the guy pay him. You couldn't tell how much money the guy gave him. But, you know, it was pretty sweet. Like, I mean, that kid's just unbelievable. Kevin Herter for the Hawks. But, yeah, just, just turned around just as easily as if he'd been standing at the free throw line. Swish, there it went. And there's Gordon A. Hayward for the Celtics. Kimba Walker, Hornets. Melvin Frazier for the Magic. There's Hammy again, Diallo, for um, the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's very athletic. But he's very raw. He needs a lot of work, or at least he did when he left here. Eric Bledsoe in the Bucks. But he's definitely very athletic. And if they develop him, he could grow into something pretty good, I think. Devontae Graham in the Hornets. Talking about Diallo. Kevin Love, Cavaliers. De'Aaron Fox for the Kings. Isaiah Thomas, Nuggets. Isaiah's finally back in action, right? Oladipo in the Pacers. Dennis Schroeder for the Thunder, but that's green to 88. And we have two boxes left. So yeah, the autographs in here are very elusive. I mean, it didn't really, as I said, they never guaranteed them. I wasn't really sure how often they were going to present themselves thus far. I would have to say not, not often. We have not seen one so far. But at least you know there's the guaranteed Chinese parallel in every pack, so that counts for a lot. You need at 12 per box, you know, that's a pretty good number, pretty good ratio coming up. It's a little over, a little over 100 a case, I guess. Uh, 
Okay. Landry again for the 76ers. I need to get some more sleeves out on the table, I think. Gone through quite a few here. Which I guess I should have expected, considering how many parallels there are. Inglis, Jazz, Mitchell Robinson, that is uh, the Knicks. Willie Cauley Stein, the big man for the Kings. A green Michael Porter Jr., emerald to 88 for the Denver Nuggets. And there's Josh Okaji again. T Wolves. And Embiid, 76ers. Aaron Holiday for the Pacers. Russell Westbrook Thunder. Miles Turner Pacers. That's Dion Waiters in the Heat. Aaron Gordon and the Magic. Last box mojo time, kids. We need to find some fire in here. Fiery, fire, fire. Looks like Beavis and Butthead, wasn't it? Fire, fire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Probably like half of you are not even old enough to know what Beavis and Butthead is. You're just like, wait, what? <laughs> and the other half of you know that was a really bad uh, impersonation of Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> I know. Hey, look, you guys aren't chatting with me. I gotta amuse myself. What do you, <laughs> what do you want? What do you expect from me here? I know. I did see, though. Uh, you know, I don't always. I'm very guilty of this. On um, products that come out every year, like impeccable and things like that. I just kind of always expect them to be the same. So I don't really look at the sell sheet information most of the time. I don't pay much attention to it when I order it. I just say, oh, it's impeccable. Okay, this is, you know, how much I'm going to order, and that's that. And then tonight I was uh, copying the manufacturer's information and putting it down at the bottom, as I usually do. And I think it's got something new in it, something different in it. Uh-oh, sneeze coming on. Ooh, ooh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I'm going to try to see if it'll pass. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. That is the worst. Anus Cantor and the Knicks. So I think there's some kind of something extra and impeccable this year. I'm going to have to go back and actually read that um, sales sheet a little better. Jerome Robinson and the Clippers. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> you're not too young to remember Beavis and Butthead. Okay, well, good. <laughs> at least at least one of you remembers Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> That's Emerald to 88, Gortot and the Clippers. Yeah, I don't know. Beavis and Butthead always made me laugh. I, I mean, <laughs> they just do. It was James Harden and the Rockets. Zaire Smith and the 76ers. Like, it was so stupid, but yet, I don't know. There was something about it just always made me laugh. Jabari Parker and the Bulls. That and South Park. I used to love early South Park. <laughs> yeah, like cheesy poofs. <laughs> just... I know, there's something seriously wrong with me, I know. Mark Gasol and the Grizzlies. Dennis Smith Jr. and the Mavericks. And here's uh, Okobo again for the Suns. So the Suns have had quite a few um, parallels for you anyway, Kent. Of course, you're going to see them all here in a minute when we, when we recap the gigantic stack of parallels. Blake Griffin and the Pistons. And who have we here? Jason Tatum coming out for the Celtics in the base New Year. 
Mikhail Bridges comes out one more time for the Suns, right? As I'm telling Kent, you got a lot of parallels. He got another one. Okay, so that is Revolution Basketball. And because I stupidly did not sort these as I was going into stacks of numbered versus rookies versus veterans, well, guess what? We're going to lay it all off again. <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys are like going, wait, that's like over 200 of them in the recap. I know, I know. When we do it the next time, I'm going to remember to set the rookies and the numbered stuff out separate. But this time I didn't, so that's what we're doing. Obviously, you know the drill. If I'm not turning it over, it's the red base version that is not numbered, but they are all the New Year parallel. And there, of course, is your man Luca, if you have the Mavericks tonight. We found a few emeralds to 88. Uh, I didn't see any gold hollows to 8. And uh, no autos, but we knew there was a chance of that. Draymond Green was to 88, of course, right there. And frankly, that's not what we were fishing for anyway. We were fishing for our New Year parallels primarily. Dante DiVincenzo emerald to 88. And for the Warriors, that is Clay Thompson to 88. You said the best Beavis and Butthead clip you've ever seen was the MTV when David Letterman slapped Butthead. <laughs> he, you know, that makes me want to go back and watch that stuff. I may, I'll have to probably have to pull that up on YouTube later and watch David Letterman slap Butthead. <laughs> I know, fond memories we have, don't we, Latch? <laughs> that is a green for the thunder with Dennis Schroeder. Yeah, they were something, uh, for sure. Good old Beavis and Butthead. Of course, good grief. I remember when MTV was first a channel. I mean, I know that dates me. I get it, but I do remember it. And it was a big deal when um, Michael Jackson's Thriller video premiered on MTV. Like, it was a thing you just couldn't miss. You had to be in front of the television waiting for that, that Thriller video to hit MTV. So, so, yeah, I know. Crazy to think about now, isn't it? That is numbered to 88, Jabari Parker and the Bulls. Yeah, back when, um, back when uh, the remote control was like you. <laughs> As your dad or your mom would, or whoever would be like, get up and change the channel. <laughs> be like, wait, what? <laughs> yes, get up, change the channel. So, yeah, the good old days. With big cabinet televisions and all that stuff. Ay, ay, ay. A lot different. This is numbered to 88. It is Anthony Davis and the Pelicans. Well, right, Bruce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it was a big, big deal, the premiere of that thriller video. This is Vincent Edwards and the Rockets in the Emerald Parallel to 88. Yeah, I mean, it was a huge, a huge deal. Everybody wanted to be around the television when that came on. You did not want to miss the premiere of that Thriller video. And it did not disappoint. I mean, obviously, that, that has withstood the test of time, clearly. A lot of local communities still do that every Halloween. You know, somebody dresses up like Michael and they lead the group through the streets doing the thriller. This is the 88 Clippers Gortat. And another to 88 with Michael Porter Jr. and the Nuggets. DeAnthony Melton to 88. Omari Spellman to 88 for the Hawks. So the Hawks actually did pretty well. I mean, you got the Spellman to 88, and you had a couple of um, 
uh, of uh, Trey Young, too. So Hawks didn't do too badly in here either. So, All right, that was all of the New Year parallels that we just looked at in the recap because yeah i know i know like i said i forgot to sort out set out separately the numbered and the rookie specifically next time we'll probably just recap those and not the vets but tonight you got to see them all again see more for your money a bonus if you will oh look i've hit something <laughs> without even knowing it hit the tripod made it crooked fun times good times um, all right, so for anybody who might not have caught this earlier, I'm going to put up your shipping information here real quickly, and we will also uh, take another look at the breaks that are coming up in the days ahead. So let's flip back over here. One more time, please remember there is no mail on Monday for President's Day. Nothing delivered, nothing picked up. I may very well print labels Saturday afternoon, Sunday, Monday. If I do, please understand those are not going to be on the way until Tuesday when they're picked up, which means that tracking actually wouldn't update until Tuesday night. If you're in any of these breaks tonight, you don't have to worry about it here in Revolution. So I should say in plates or patches and in flash baseball, if your team did not pull a single card, you are still going to get consolation cards in the mail headed your way. They will ship out when the rest of the break ships out. So tomorrow night, Leaf Autograph Football Jersey, another case of Leaf Flash Baseball and half case of Prism Basketball Retail. So there's 10 boxes in that and it is the start of a new case for some people care about that. So in case you do, that's the deal. Sunday is uh, Gold Rush Premier Players Baseball. That's buyback cards. Uh, they're kind of the higher end buyback cards for the more desirable players is that's my paraphrasing of the marketing materials but you'll see a picture of the marketing material on the listing you can read their wording for it we'll also do another 20 box master case of panini one on sunday night monday onyx preferred players autograph baseball three box case some more leaf flash baseball and more plates and patches tuesday a leaf autograph multi-sport jersey Top Series 1 Baseball Jumbo Full Case. Base cards uh, ship out with their own bidding category. Base cards don't go to the teams in that one. Teams will get numbered cards, autograph cards, relic cards, and uh, anything that Tops has listed as an insert uh, for Top Series 1. Everything else will go to that base card bidding position. On Wednesday, we have two new releases. We're going to open them both in a full case on Wednesday night. That will be Impeccable Basketball up first and Select Football up behind that. So Wednesday night going to be so much fun. All right, I think that's it for tonight. That's all the news to use. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything in chat. Let me, you know, I don't know. Why am I centering this now? There's no reason, right? Like we're done. I've already knocked into it, but I don't know. Somehow I felt the need to recenter it. How strange, right? Um, oh, Latch, you had a black and white RCA television. See, so you too were probably at some point, you were the remote, right? Mom or dad or whoever, sister or brother, yelling, get up and change the channel. <laughs> yeah. Well, Brian, I am glad that you had fun in your first break here. I'm glad we found some things for you and uh, definitely would love to see you again. Hopefully I'll see uh, most, many, or all of you again. So we will, of course, be back at it tomorrow night. So if I don't see you then, hopefully I'll see you sometime soon. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, we'll see you the next time. Bye, guys and gals.